This video will discuss arguments. Arguments are what you pass to a method, uh, and then that method does something with that argument. And you can pass in any kind of data that you want. So let's do an example. I'm just going to create a new class here. Call it arguments, just like that. Check that box right there finish and in I'm gonna go ahead and create a new method uh, so I'm gonna make this static so we can see it f um, so we can use it inside this class I'm gonna have it return an int value and it's gonna be called squared because what it's gonna do it's gonna take an int value that we give to it we pass to it as an argument and it's gonna square it and then it's gonna return it in an int value So we do round brackets right there, and inside the round brackets we indicate the type of argument that it should expect, so an int, and we indicate a name that will be assigned to that argument that will be used from within the method in order to access the argument passed. And I'll show you an example of this in a second. Uh, I'm just going to call this one my value, okay? And we do a code block right there. Inside that code block, what's going to happen is first of all let's make a new variable let's make an int that's called result that variable is going to store a res result of the square procedure so how do we do a value squared we multiply it by itself so we go my value um, times my value semicolon right there okay and we should return we return the result like that hit play and nothing's gonna happen because we didn't call the method yet but our program didn't crash so that's a good sign so how do we call it we're just gonna type in the name of the method and we're gonna pass an argument to it now how do we pass an argument we can type it in the brackets just like that and it needs to be an int if we type a string hello it will crash and it won't like us because let's see the method squared requires an int and it knows that so we gotta put an int in there six alternatively we can also do a variable uh, we can do int my int equals six or equals six like that and then inside these brackets right here we can put in my int that would be the same thing now if we do this right now nothing will happen and I'll show you nothing happens see um, because it returned the result however we didn't actually do anything with the result so let's print out whatever it returns so how do we do that we go system dot out dot print line and we print the result just like that so what this is saying is first the program goes it sees it sets my int at six okay then it goes it does the innermost brackets first it says oh I want to call the square method and the argument that I'm gonna pass is called my int and that has a value of 6 so it finds squared it passes the value of 6 or my int into the squared method okay so we start the squared method inside the squared method we have an, a variable result being initiated and it's being assigned a value of whatever my value times my value is um, now my value is the argument that's been passed so 6 6 was the argument that was passed to the squared method so 6 times 6 is assigned to result result is now 36 and that's returned then we go back here squared is done so we go and we print line whatever was returned and what was returned an int with a value of 36 was returned so if everything goes well 36 just like that and that there you have it there's a basic example of how you pass an argument to a method